Hey everyone and welcome to yet another episode of our interview series and this one is going to be special for all the Templars out there for today we are joined by the bass player of Hammerfall, Frederick Larson. Frederick will be speaking about the band's upcoming live album Life Against the World, the production behind it, the tour itself and share some news about the new album. As always I'd like to take moment and invite you to join the conversation and become part of the metal pilgrim community on youtube instagram or wherever you hang out so go ahead and subscribe to stay tuned with the updates here you go hey it's frederick how's it going man it's all good all, all good. good all good that's good good to hear <laughs> <laughs> are you in sweden Yes, I'm um, home, uh, like I guess everybody else. Yeah. Seven billion <laughs> <to> people. <laughs> Sorry? Seven billion people exactly in the same yeah. boat. <laughs> How is the situation the actually spot. there? Uh, getting better or the second wave is coming too? Uh, the second wave have, has started here in yeah. Sweden, but it's really, really just a slow uh, increase. So mm -hmm. it's not that much, but uh, we, uh, we need to stay careful and... Uh, and uh, watch out and be safe absolutely absolutely all over the world um so what yeah. are you actually in the band are up to now that you know these days that you cannot tour uh you can't really go live uh, uh but what, what what keeps you busy and sane these days um i'm not sure if i can keep keep myself sane <laughs> <laughs> i try to to play a lot by myself mm -hmm. and uh with some friends here in gothenburg but um I haven't met the other guys from Stockholm in a long time, mm -hmm. not since the um, end of the tour, actually, in yeah. uh, March. Okay. So okay. it's it's really, it doesn't feel good <laughs> at all. Yeah, I can imagine. Um, but yeah, the big news uh, about Hammerfall, this October 23rd, uh, you know, the band is about to release the powerful Life album, uh, Life Against the World, recording during your World Dominion tour. Um, I gotta say that, you know, the live production and, uh, you know, the pyro, the stage and everything, I was able to see the uh, recording a bit earlier, is absolutely incredible. Um, I think this is the strongest I've seen Hammerfall personally, but could you talk a bit about, you know, the live act um, behind it, you know, just how 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 it felt, you know, go on such a stage every night uh, and, you know, just experience that uh, you and the band uh, shared during this tour. Yeah, it was it was an amazing stage, I must say. Um, it felt like when I first got on it, uh, it felt like the, the old days when I was looking at uh, like ha um, like our maiden shows mm -hmm. and, and stuff like that yeah. when I was a kid. Um, it was much bigger than I expected uh, when we got down to the pre-production and, and set everything up. So it was it was really cool. And going up on that stage every night, it was amazing. It was really cool. I mean, of course, there's pyro and stuff uh, going on. Not every show, but most of them, at least the big ones. Mm -hmm. And uh, we could adapt the, sh the, the stage so it was a bit smaller when there was no room. Yeah. But... Um, it was really cool to be on, on such a big production I, and that's one part that we we wanted to present Hammerfall um, on a live DVD as mm -hmm. we are now because this is in my opinion the, the best Hammerfall I've ever sounded mm -hmm. and and ever looked as well um, because of, of we have the we have the ability to, to to take this big stage production with us. Yeah, absolutely. And I, I personally think, and I just briefly said that, you know, that this is ba basically the strongest I've seen Hammerfall live. Uh, and I've seen, you know, a bunch of your recordings, obviously, but uh, uh, this one is definitely by far, uh, you know, just kind of blows everything else uh, that you've done before. So congrats on this one. Um, it is a, it is a really great one, yeah. And on this live record, uh, you've actually given listeners, you know, quite a variety of um, both the band's classics, you know, on one hand, and some pretty, you know, rarely appearing songs, uh, you know, on, on the set list. Um, I was surprised to see, you know, just a couple of those. Um, and I assume that the latter kind of has been done to, you know, please the diehard old fans. Uh, in a, am I right? 
Yeah, I mean, of course, it's getting harder and harder to, to pick songs for a set list. Yeah. Um, and it, for a thing like this with um, that we're going to film for the rest of the world, mm -hmm. uh, we have to choose songs that there's a couple of songs that we always have to include, of course. Absolutely. We can't play a show without uh, Hearts on Fire or Last Man Standing or yeah. whatever. But uh, at the same time, we, we need to pick some songs that make it interesting as well. Mm -hmm. uh, some odd favorites of ourselves or songs that we haven't played uh, live for a long time or songs that we haven't played live at all. Mm -hmm. uh, so, yeah, we have to pick and choose to... to Get a good combination. It's easier when we do such a long live set, but um, at the same time, we yeah we need to su surprise the audience a bit. Yeah, and uh, with a variety you know of, of songs and uh, just material to choose from, how do you as a band usually come together into agreement of what to play and you know which oldies to include? Uh, it's usually Oscar and Joachim who mm -hmm. who puts together the the final set list but i mean we're free to 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 uh, say what we think would fit mm -hmm. in there mm -hmm. so uh, and, and and it all comes together when we start rehearsing for the for the show yeah um yeah yeah makes sense uh and what do you personally think is the most underrated you know hammerfall uh song that should be played often or at least more often uh, <laughs> um, I don't know. Um, there's uh, so many songs to choose from. Um, uh, it's probably some old songs that we we don't have room for. I mean, from from the um, Glory to the Brave, mm -hmm. we can't pick as many as I would like because it's a great debut album. It is, um, and uh, I mean. I think we we will be happy if we could pick just one song from each album mm -hmm. uh, and make it a day, and then some some um, some more of the new album. But yeah, I would which, choose some. Which you some have done, Anderson, right? I, is, correct me if I'm wrong, but I think that this live album included at least one song from each of the albums you've uh, released so far. Yeah, I think so. Yeah, I haven't checked, but uh, that that was probably an idea from the start to at least have one song yeah it sounded pretty cool um and you've also given a special treatment let's just call it like this to the renegade album that uh turned uh, 20 that year right last year yes wow yes. uh 20 i can't believe that it's, it's already been 20 years <laughs> <laughs> i feel old now <laughs> uh, uh you, you've played basically most of the album <laughs> i mean during the medley of course i'm kidding uh, but um it was a pretty extensive medley uh uh, like that. And whose idea was it? And was it weird to play it? Just like all of this together, smashed together instead of, you know, played in song by song? It's a bit weird in the beginning because you, you, you want to play more of the song and, and you want to get there, that part. But um, after rehearsing it a couple of times, it, it feels smooth. Um, and um, it's it's nice to see the crowd react to, to his favorite song on, on that... <laughs> Medley. Yeah. Uh, but we started to do this on on the um, Glory to the Brave anniversary. Mm -hmm. So um, that was the first one, uh, and then we continued because we we can't play that. I mean, a lot of bands do like a full tour on just one album, yeah. uh, like the anniversary of one album. But um, we don't feel that we are there. Uh, we have new material that are very um, like. It, it means something for the audience, so we don't tour on old material, not yet. And I maybe in the future. <laughs> uh, you know what? I I actually and I actually like this idea. And I, I remember actually Rob Halford of Jesus Priest uh, spoke about this in exactly the same manner that you know um, that Hammerfall is a you know is a live band uh, is a band that you know is alive as in producing incredible new material uh, you know year after year. And uh, there is no point of, you know, this reminiscence uh, of the old stuff, all the old days, because Dominion, in my personal opinion, uh, again, extremely strong album, and it deserves to be put on stage just like any other album you've released so far. Yeah. Yeah, thanks. That was, that's exactly how we feel. 
uh, we make accurate albums all the time and uh, and we don't want to get stuck in that okay they played the first album now they're doing a tour on the second album mm -hmm. it's it's not a hammerfall yeah not yet that's true um speaking about dominion very briefly but um you've done a very interesting collaboration with uh nura luhimo uh on this album and you've actually brought nura on stage uh uh, during the uh, during the recording in uh, in Germany, right? Uh, it's great yeah. to see her live. For those who don't know, she's the um, front woman of Battle Beast, a uh, great band. Check it out if you haven't done so yet. Um, but um, how did this collaboration overall come together? And maybe any interesting stories behind it? How was w how was it working with Nora even? It was amazing being up on stage with her every night on, on that tour. It was fantastic. She has a beautiful voice and, and nice. they fit really well together in this song. From the beginning on, on the uh, Dominion album, it was a um, collaboration with James Michael from 6AM uh, mm -hmm. and producer. Um, they did this as a duet uh, and they co-wrote the song with them, uh, Oscar and, and Joachim. Mm -hmm. So um, that was this the album version, and we thought that going on tour with with uh, Battle Beast, and we thought we could do something special, mm -hmm. and the idea of um, of a duet with on this song came up, and they recorded it, and it turned out so great that we had to do a video for it. <laughs> uh, it was yeah, it turned out really really good, I think. And then we asked if she wanted to join us on stage every night. And yeah, it worked fantastic. And I got to tell you that, you know, it's rare, but uh, Nora just kind of seamlessly blended into the band. It looked on stage like she is the permanent member of the band at some point. You know, <laughs> just their connection with Joachim was amazing, you know, voice wise and overall her presence. Um, I, think, yeah. I think she's done an incredible job on this one. Yeah, and, and it's kind of a really emotional song, and and they interacted really, really well. Mm -hmm. And so, standing behind them on stage every night, it was really cool. That's amazing. That's great to hear. Uh, I um, not everybody actually knows, but officially the World Dominion tour is not over yet uh, because you had to reschedule the couple of shows. Uh, you know, from when uh, Joachim got sick um, uh, last year. Mm -hmm. And uh, one yeah. of them, actually, in my hometown, uh, in Kiev. Uh, oh. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it's okay. I travel a lot, so I, I see a lot of shows. But, you know, I usually do a shout out on the internet before, uh, you know, b before an interview. And I've got bombarded with questions, uh, you know, from the Kiev audience, Kiev audience on, you know, whether the tour is actually going to happen in November when whether you are going to come and um, or this is going to get rescheduled again any insight any feedback on this one do you know I actually haven't heard anything about it uh, mm -hmm. yet so it's still scheduled but um, as the world seems right now I would I wouldn't bet on it that it will be I, I think it will be postponed again but I'm not sure. I haven't heard anything about it. All right. So yeah, it all depends on the officials, I guess, right? And uh, yeah, the, absolutely. The restrictions on this one. Well, hopefully, mm -hmm. Ukraine just lifted the you know travel ban, so hopefully this uh, <laughs> this is going to happen now. But if not, we are waiting for you, uh, you know, next year or whenever you guys are uh, are to join us. Uh, yes. Um, perfect. Um, and. Maybe any specific song, uh, you know, from this tour or overall that you've enjoyed playing, you know, the most. Um, you know, you can uh, 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 you can say the obvious uh, hearts and fire wouldn't throw stones at you. <laughs> but at the same time, if you, you know, if you choose some rare oldie, I mean, um, would love to hear that as well. And why, of course. Well, if, if you take a song like Hearts on Fire, it's... Uh most i mean it's a, a great song and you you don't love playing it again and again and again but at the same time you see the audience reaction mm -hmm. and and get so much back from that song so it's fun again to play that song <laughs> but um for me uh, personally um i would say um, 
I must say the ballad with Nora mm -hmm. is is so great playing. I don't play much on it, and it's really simple. But it's such an emotion to be there, and uh, it seems like the audience really liked that one as well. Um, there's a lot of cameras up in the air, and um, it it's it's something different, something that we not always do, especially with as a duet. But uh, we have ballads that have been really popular before, um, "Glory to the Brave," uh, for instance, and and that's. That's also a great song to play live, um, not on this set, though. Yeah. So I have to pick that one. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> a lyrical one. That's interesting. <laughs> Usually here, you know, something about blasting, you know, when you have to, you know, sweat. And you <laughs> but, um, yeah, but that's what we do 95% of the show. So that is true. <laughs> it's something different. That is true. Um, and then... Um, Okay, I know that Dominion has been just released last year, right? But um, I think at some point you did say that the creation process behind it was extremely um, satisfactory and relaxed, right? Because uh, Oscar has, you know, written most of the songs when you, you know, hit the studio, right, already. Um, yeah. So how about any new Hammerfall material? Uh, again, I know the Dominion has just been released a year ago, but maybe uh, some insight since... You all have some time to, you know, to write music uh, right now, I assume. Uh, uh, any, any, any insight on this one? Yeah, I actually got a couple of songs from Oscar already. Nice. Uh, yeah, he's, he's been really productive <coughs> and um, he has a lot of time now. So mm -hmm. I, I understand it. it's better to, to let it go, uh, get it out of your system mm -hmm. if you have the time and, and energy. So I think he sits by the studio quite often and, and mm -hmm. plays. So I already have a, a couple of songs nice. that he sent. So yeah, it, it's it's gonna be really good. Yeah, <laughs> amazing, amazing! I'm excited to hear uh, hear it when it comes. So probably 2021 or the year after that. What do you think? Uh, probably the year after that. Year I guess. That. Yeah. Yeah, because we're not done with this album, as you said. We. We will try to do some more shows for sure. Absolutely, absolutely, yeah. Anyways, uh, I think this is great news for any Hammerfall fan around the globe. Uh, uh, perfect. I'm conscious of your time, obviously. So just a couple of more questions, if you don't mind. Uh, sure. And number one, this is something again we do regularly on the show, but also have been asked a lot by the fans. Now, um, Frederick, just share one story, if you don't mind, one touring story from. Again, back in those days when you were able to tour, <laughs> sad to hear. <laughs> uh, but you know, some one uh, just show that stuck in your head, or one something crazy that happened on a tour life, or anything, um, anything you want to share and can legally share with the, <laughs> with the fans. Uh, well, I can share when we were in uh, Colombia mm -hmm. uh, for the Dominion album. <clears throat> we were in Cali and we were taking really good care of uh, a guy who was called Jans Lanz, mm -hmm. uh, a friend of Joachim who used to live in Gothenburg um, mm -hmm. and he moved to, to Cali and um, he showed us around and uh, took us on a hike. Mm -hmm. It was fantastic, such nature and everything and really hot and humid. We were sweating, but it was so nice. But the day before, he told us to don't wear any watches, uh, like jewelry, uh, nothing fancy at all, because just the other week before, someone had been murdered on the trail. Yeah, it was like, okay, is it safe to go there? Really? Are you taking us up on a, on a trail like that? But it was perfectly safe, because there were police officers all, <laughs> all the way up. So it was a nice trip anyway. <laughs> nice. Uh, well, kind of scared, but it was such a nice trip. Oh, this is amazing. I love Latin America. And I know this, you know, that Colombia is very different from, uh, you know, from where I've been. I've lived for a couple of years in Costa Rica, but I, I've had only <clears throat> amazing memories about, you know, the Latin Americans and I have huge amount of friends from over there so, and I really hope yeah. to come back at some point as well. <laughs> yeah, I love touring in the in the South America. 
uh, it's such a different thing from from the rest of the Europe, of course, but uh, mm -hmm. also it's different from country to country when you get there. Absolutely. But one thing I think common about, you know, uh, just that part of the world, obviously, versus this one, is that the energy produced in the concerts is is just incredible. I mean, the guys yeah. are crazy about the band they love. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they have the feelings on the outside. So it's every night is like the roof is racing. So it's fantastic Absolutely. to play there. Absolutely. Absolutely. Uh, cool. Uh, the last one is any plans on visiting uh, the United States again, you know, prior to the release of the next album? Um, hopefully, you know, in continuation of promotion of Dominion, maybe next year. Yeah, I really hope so. Um, we were actually supposed to be on the US tour right now. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Joachim texted me, oh, supposed to be in Atlanta. Oh, it's so, um, yeah, <laughs> kind of a letdown. But uh, I really hope we get to another US tour um, before the next album. Absolutely. Because this was planned. We, we, we want to do it. Yeah. Nice. All right. Yeah. Perfect. Frederick, thanks a lot for your time. Any last message for the fans? Anything you want to share with them? Uh, I really hope this COVID shit is going back Absolutely. real soon because yeah. I, I, we need to get out on, on the road again and, and see you all. So hope you see, hope to see you soon. Absolutely. And Hammerfall is very much of a live band. I mean, none of this online crap. We need to see you guys live cause, uh, and sing yeah. alone to all those new and old songs once again. Yeah. Absolutely. Frederick, thanks a lot for your time. Uh, say hello to the entire band and we hope to see you on the road sometime soon. Thank you. Thank you very much. All right. Take see care. ya. Thanks.